Doctor, is it me or did it just get colder in here? Yes. I feel a bit chilly now. Doctor, what's going on? Doctor, don't. Hello? Come and have a look at this. No, no. That beast is not coming in my house. Doctor, get back, it'll kill you. Out! Everyone out! Kerry, get out of here, it's going to kill you too. Doctor, I can't leave you in here. Kerry, please, go! <coughs> you don't have to do this. You don't have to resort to violence. You don't have to act like this. You've got the wrong template in your mind. These people are friendly. They mean you no harm. Just... Just stay calm. <coughs> Please don't lash out. I'm trying to help. Stay back, Gran. We don't want to go gallivanting in matters that aren't our concern. The doctor's still in there. I'm sorry, miss. But if he's going to try and reason with that animal, he's got another thing coming. He's as good as dead. Maybe you're lashing out at me as some sort of a defence mechanism. That's it, isn't it? You want me to fear you. Well, I've got some news for you, beast of Broadchurch. I do not fear you. You may fool the villagers, but you can't fool me. You're not there. You're not there. I can resist you. Well, that seems to take care of that, doesn't it? Halt! Stay where you are! What the heck? I've got to go back in there. No, Miss, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Get out of my way, I've got to help the doctor. I'm not going to let you. He was the one who chose to stay in there. I can't let you go in there too. <sighs> Brian, thank goodness I found you. What's the matter, Sandra? There's this crack, hole in the road. It's getting wider. And not only that, Brian, there's this sort of invisible barrier. Force field, it must be growing. Sandra, I hate to break this to you, but I'm afraid you're just going to have to go with it. This village is under attack by a force I don't understand. Is this to do with your beast of broad church nonsense? It's more than just nonsense now. This crack in the road you just mentioned, and this invisible barrier, we somehow managed to matter, work it out, that it's linked somehow to this beast thing. So what, you're saying that the beast is doing all this? Well, not exactly. Look, let's go down the road. I'll explain on the way. Resorting to this now, are we? Yeah, well, stay where you are. If you seriously think that this is going to scare me, then you're very much mistaken. Takes one to know one, Doctor. Sonia? What about my parents? That's different. Is it? You could have saved them, but you didn't. It doesn't change facts, Doctor. Stop it. It doesn't change the fact that you let me down. Stop this now! But she's right. How many more can you disappoint? Oh, Sonia, not you too. Why didn't you save me? I tried. Believe me, I did. Not hard enough. All right, I've had enough. You're not making me scared, you're just making me very angry. In life we make choices, some good, some bad. But at the end of the day, there's always a chance. There is no chance. Enough. But they're right, Doctor. How many more can you disappoint? Mr. Groves, so nice to make your acquaintance. Or more to the point, shall I say, the Harkle Crystal. How many more would you let go? People like Lucy Lou. 
and Sani and Sonia and all the rest. How can you ensure Kerry's safety? Idle talk like this will not make me worried. You're trying to break down my psyche, but it's not going to work. In fact, I have a question. Why scare everyone in this village into believing you're a beast? What is the point of scaring people? The fear factor is such a comprehensive emotion inside the human body. It creates energy. Energy that I thrive upon. It is necessary to strike fear and terror into the hearts of the people of this village because the energy they give off is very appetizing to my liking indeed. And why set up the force field? Insurance. To ensure nobody escapes. You're only digging yourself a deep hole. That crack in the wall is only going to get wider. So predictable. Humans. Thinking that you have a chance. And that is what I plan to do. Create a possibility of chance that you could survive. Hope will destroy you. And the fear you give off will energize me to my full corporeality. It's monstrous. You'll be killing innocent lives. It is necessary. Not to me it isn't. And just how do you plan to stop me? I will stop you. I can stop you. Kerry? Kerry? <laughs>